It's been months now since we have known about the horrifying case of Mara Lara Store. The entities that had been tormenting Mario continue to roam around his store. Despite everything he has tried to do in order to get rid of them, has failed. The truth is that they still continue to threaten Mario. And they sure don't seem to be leaving anytime soon. They have taken the store as theirs and seem to be protecting it from the people who don't belong there. The entities have developed more hostile tendencies. As time passed, it seemed that they were becoming more aggressive, and if you don't believe so, let's examine together some of the new evidence Mario has gathered. It was a rainy day for Mario. The power went out and most likely a storm was going to come in. In the clip, Mario had no intentions of capturing what he caught. I don't even think he realized it unless someone pointed it out to him. As he is recording his surroundings, if you pay close attention, you will notice something out of the ordinary. In case you didn't catch it, I will replay it one more time. A face can be seen on the decoration on the wall. You may think it's just part of the decoration, but if I were you, think again. Look at how the face disappears from the decoration as if it noticed it was being filmed, so it tried to hide itself from being seen. Two days later, Mario would witness the entity's aggressiveness firsthand, which actually left some damage as you can see. When this incident first took place, it took the internet by surprise and the clip of the accident was all over social media. So if you saw it back then, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, 
then pay close attention to the following clip. I don't know if it has anything to do with the Moana joke, but around 3 p.m. my cat was very tense and complaining, so I hugged him, and he kept tense. Then I felt like something twisted the finger of my hand, and then pulled down. I went out of frame and I got on my knees to try to avoid more twisting. In the end of all of it, all I heard was the girl who works with me cry from fear when she saw me. Mario said it himself, this very much could have been a consequence of a joke he made about the Moana piñata. And at this point, what is the one thing I always say in my videos? Never ridicule the paranormal, because they can be nice when they want to, but they can be malicious if they want to as well. The case of Mario has been a phenomenon. It has gained the attention of many people, including paranormal investigators. Throughout this whole case, we have seen many people visit the store to investigate. And one thing that we learned was that at night is when the most activity takes place. Alejandro Cantu from Espectral Society got permission from Mario to stay overnight at the store. For the most part, we got the typical lights on and off and things falling off shelves. But then came the most alarming parts of the night. For those who don't remember, that TV has a history to it. The entity time and time again has used it to make threats. This has been the first time we have seen it move on its own. Alejandro wasn't even aware of anything until he woke up from the noises that to me honestly sounded like gunshots, which wouldn't be that uncommon in Mexico. The noise woke him up instantly, and frantically he searched around the bodega. Little did he know, there was more to come.
a little boy can be seen. And Alejandro had no clue the ghost of a boy was observing him the whole time. And honestly, it may have been for the best because sometimes seeing something like that can cause unwanted panic. The night concluded and the events you saw is what took place that night. Per usual, Mario made his live stream analyzing what occurred. In one of the newer live streams, many concerned users noticed something that sent chills down their spine. Stay attentive. The doll was closing its eyes. It is quite concerning how a bunch of objects are starting to take life. As each day goes by, the more that happens. A worker from the store was calmly doing her job when all of a sudden, this happened. The poor young girl was dragged by a powerful force. Luckily, the force let go, which allowed her to run as fast as she could. Mario came out to check out what could have happened, but of course, he saw nothing because the entity did not want to be seen. Things are getting out of control. Now, the entities are taking out their frustration on others. Even people who aren't even physically in the store, only nearby it. Innocent civilians are now becoming victims of the evil force that surrounds the store. The scariest part is that all this is nothing to what Mario captured. He has never shared the video because he is scared of the reaction it might get from people. This is what he had to say. Friends, I found an old video that has been saved for more than a year. The night I recorded this video, the camera broke and did not turn on again. But finally, after all this time, we managed to extract the material that was recorded. In my opinion, it's the worst and most horrible video I've seen of a demon. I would like to post it, but on the other hand, I don't want to go back to the harassment we received last year from YouTubers trying to forcefully enter the store. But I also believe things like this shouldn't be buried or ignored. What do you recommend I do? That was the sneak peek Mario gave us. Judging by what can be seen, I can't even imagine what was going on in the video. It is looking like he might share the video with us. So if I were you guys, turn on the notifications for my video so you are notified when the update occurs. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys all and I will see you guys in the next video.